Hey folks, I thought I would share a quick demonstration of Etherpad and what I like about it and how it can be embedded in a forum software. Um, so just to begin with a quick introduction of Etherpad, here we're looking at the Wikipedia page. Uh, it started out as an independent project by a couple of ex-Googlers. Um, and then at some point it was purchased by Google. Um, Google integrated the technology into Google Wave, which was obviously a spectacular flop. Um, and then um, open source the original code. Um, the, and, and I would bet that they took some of those same developers and integrated that into Google Docs because what Etherpad provides is um, real-time collaborative editing across the net, or across the internet. So I type something and it appears on your screen. So if you're working on a document together, it's really nice. Um, I use it a lot even when I'm in the same room with someone else because we both have keyboards and we can both edit different parts of the document. So I think it's a, it's a great software product. Uh, it's used by Moz, by the Wikimedia Foundation and, and a number of others. Anyway, so uh, made by Googlers, acquired by Google, open sourced by Google. Some technology went into Wave. It appears that some technology also went into Google Docs um, and it was just kind of kicking around online. But the code itself was a, um, was a mess. Uh, so the original code uh, was written in Scala and had quite demanding system requirements. Uh, what they did is they rewrote it in um, uh, Node.js, uh, which uh, I haven't looked at it for a while. I believe that it, it scaled the actual amount of source, time, source code down. And eventually, um, so Etherpad Lite was the fork. And now I believe that Etherpad Lite is just called Etherpad because everybody decided that the old source code base isn't worth following up on, um, and that Node.js is just a better foundation for it. Anyway, so it's got a you know, decent amount of support. Um, you know, they've got, I don't know, if, I think they have a foundation, but it's, it's not big. Um, they've got clients for all sorts of stuff. They've got 50 plugins. They've got jQuery, so you can embed it and whatever. So let's see it in action. Um, OK, so here is a forum. You're all familiar with forums. Going to scroll down. This is a page in the forum. It's just a simple iframe embed where you've got an Etherpad pad. And what is it? Uh, you oh, let me just delete all of it. Uh, you can just type stuff, uh, and that's great. Okay, whatever. Um, but the nice thing is that uh, you can, in another window, well, oops, uh, in another window you or on a different computer, you can see the stuff being updated. Uh, you can see it being updated in real time. Now note that there is a gap between the left and the right windows. And the reason for that is that um, it's all, all of the individual keystrokes are going back to the server. So from a programming perspective, this is awesome. Basically, there's some JavaScript in the left window. I'm typing into the left window and only that. It's recognizing each of my keystrokes and every maybe three keystrokes, uh, it's deciding to send that information back to the server. Um, so it's pounding the server. Um, and uh, over on the right, uh, you've got the second, um, I shouldn't say pounding, but if it were HTTP, it would be something that I would be concerned about, sorry. If it were Apache on the back end, it would be something that I wouldn't want a lot of users doing this. Um, my impression is that Node handles this better. Um, on the right, you've also got another, uh, you know, you've got JavaScript on the page on the right, which is gathering the information. And the round trip, uh, the round trip is pretty quick. So I'm located in New England, and this is going back to uh, a server located in Michigan. That's just my little VPS. So what I want to show you next is a little bit about how that round trip works. Um, so right now I am running um, Etherpad as a service. Uh, so I'm going to uh, stop that service. Um, and then I'm going to open it in uh, a privileged, uh, less privileged account. So. Let's see, bin slash run.sh. Um, so now it's being, um, so now I can see its output. Uh, it's not all getting to dev null. Um, so let's look at what's happening as I type here. 
Um, so right now I'm, I'm SSH'd into that Michigan server, uh, and you can see not much is going on right now. Uh, however, oops, come on. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to refresh because I restarted, rebooted the, um, the server. Uh, obviously, I killed it. Um, okay, when I start typing, comma, you can see uh, how things get sent. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, you can see now when it says three values, I think that's just three characters. So, you know, roughly every three characters, it's sending that information out. Um, I set it up so it's got MySQL on the back end. Um, that's how it stores all of this information which is going through. But the bottom line uh, in all of this is uh, I, oh, here, let's put that in the, well, I guess I can't do that now, can I? Um, I type something on the left and it goes back to Michigan. Um, so the question is, because mobile is a thing of the day, um, what happens when we try and do mobile? Um, so I got a friend over here and I'm going to see if I can get her to uh, demonstrate for me. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, good. So we're going to do an awesome song and you got to say it as you go. Ready? Go. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Woo! Go iPhone! Um, so anyway, it kind of works with mobile. Um, it's pretty quick, so I can see Jenny on my screen. I guess you can see that too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's a nice technology. Uh, you know, you can see it whirring away on my Go Zenforo and my Zenforo forum. Um, thank you, Pam. You're welcome. Um, okay, so uh, so anyway, um, that's uh, Etherpad. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. There's a chat room built in in the bottom, um, and uh, I'll include the link, and you can like chat back and forth. Obviously, a chat room is a very, very natural application for, for Node, since it's just really good at sending little messages like that. That's what made me think that this would be uh, an interesting thing, just to ask, OK, um, you know, it's obviously not feasible that this is going to be added to Zenforo. That would just completely change uh, their requirements, and it, it would just wouldn't make sense. Uh, but supposing we did it just for grins, um, you know, what interesting things we could do. So, you know, they were making Etherpad, and they said, hey, it would be really easy for us to add a chat room to this. Um, now, I run a chat room based on Apache and PHP. Um, it's rock solid for small groups, but I bet that this scales much better. Um, so anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the little demo, uh, a little bit surprised at all the resistance I'm getting, but you know, um, everybody, uh, I don't know, everybody's their own, their own person. Um, so, uh, hope you enjoyed the show.